Luis Diaz from Charlie Ecclesher saying Porto are holding out for much more money for Luis Diaz, but other opportunities may well open in the next few days with Tottenham having multiple players on their list of targets with four days to go, by the way. Of course, they're holding out for a lot of money. And it's interesting, I was here, um, I was just reading Tim Vickery, who's a, um, he's a journalist down in South America for, for, for yeah. South America for the BBC. And he was, um, obviously, he knows quite a lot about Luis Diaz, who was uh, placed in the Copa America for Colombia. He said, um, he's talking about the links of uh, Luis Diaz to uh, Tottenham. He said, this is the way Tottenham like to do business. They sniff around um, late in the window and come in with cheap offers that the club um, would not, would that the club would not like to accept, basically. And, um, and that's exactly right. It's exactly what we do. We go, we come in late with an underbid, and hope we get a cheap offer. And if we don't get him cheap, we won't get him at all. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And that, and that and that sounds like what we're going to do again with this uh, Diaz uh, 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 to Porto from Porto. As much as I want him, and all first of all, as much as I know, it's going to be annoying for me to say. As much as I want Diaz, and I think he's a great player, I don't think he should be a priority. I think if we're spending fifty million, I'd rather spend in other areas mm, for me than uh, than a left winger. Right. Yeah. I mean, our second best player at the club's a left winger. Exactly. So, so I'd, I'd rather not. I'd, if, if I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm unhappy with, if we get him for fifty million. I'll be very happy because I think he'll add to the squad quite a bit. But if I, but if, if I see Tottenham spending fifty million, I'd rather it be on a centre mid or a right wing back or a centre back than as before I see it on a left winger. Right. But um, in terms of the, the the actual the deal going through. I mean, we're going to have to spend, uh, we're going to have to up our bid significantly. So, and if our opening bid was that low, do I see us adding an extra 20 million or so to that bid to, to the required amount, which is going to take to get this deal over the line? I find it very unlikely. I find it, I don't think we'll have to pay the release clause. I think we'll go, we, they'll accept the deal under the release clause, but they won't, it won't be that far under, it won't be 30 million under the release clause. Well, like they offering. were saying, I don't know how how reliable reports are but they were saying we're only 15 million uh, difference in, in valuation of what they would accept I mean uh, that and that was up to what 60 million euros or something yeah but that's an extra 50% of the offer we've just made yeah. pretty much yeah so that is quite a bit it is but I know I'm just uh, confirming your point that, that it won't go it won't need to go to 80 it won't need to yeah. go to release clause yeah exactly so um, I don't think he exactly I don't think he's going to go that far but are we going to add the extra 15 million it's going to take I can't like we've seen this we've seen this time and time again and uh, it's going to be another one of those deals where we say it's too expensive and um, I reckon he'll probably go to Liverpool in the summer anyway because I think Liverpool are looking for long-term replacements for Salah and Mane and he could be definitely up there um, at this point are you confident to get anyone through the door right now anyone I mean even <laughs> are we even going to get this Amrabat geezer you know what I mean Do we... I'm not confident of getting anyone I'm happy about yeah that's that's definitely true. At this point, I, I, there's no one who's worth getting, who's go, who's going to be available to come right now. Uh, as so so late in the day, it's going to be very difficult. Um, obviously, when you're talking about clubs from Portugal, it might be different because they might be more willing to do a bit of business even late in the day. But um, it's going to be very very difficult for us to get in targets that Conte wants so late in the day of any quality that's going to massively improve the squad. And that's what I'm so frustrated about. And now we're being linked to like these players I've never even heard of. Um, this one player, Andrea Cambiasso, who's a 21-year-old fullback, predominantly plays on the left, can play on the right, um, has played in central midfield before as well. He plays for Genoa. His current market value on transfer market is 3.15 million. Mind like, and this is the, the kind of caliber we're being linked with now. Um, another one called Antonin Barak, who plays for... Hellas Verona, um, who plays central midfield, his market value is 14 and a half million. I mean, I've never even heard of these players. Have you heard of any of these players? Nope. Um, doesn't mean they're rubbish, but I don't know who they are. That's, that's, definitely, that's definitely true. And that's... Uh, He's actually got quite a good record, this guy. It's a concern. This Barak guy, he's Czech Republic international, played 19 games in Serie A this season, eight goals and four assists. From central midfield not terrible but he's what 27 27 yeah so he's not young no i don't really care what age they are at the moment we just need players through the door we need to beef up this squad 
We really do. That's what state we're in right now. Like, we can't be, I don't even think we could be picky and choosy, like, who, who we can bring in right now. We just need players. We're not going to be getting any high quality players, let's be honest. We do need to be picky. We need improvements. No point bring someone in if they're not going to improve the squad. We need options as well. I know, obviously, we need to, that's first and foremost. Yeah, of course, we need to improve the squad, but we need players. Like, <laughs> I would even bring in this Amrabat guy. And I, I was really against it when I first heard the news. But we just need players, man. We need to beef up this squad. We're just so short on options. If we get yeah, one we need or two depth. injuries. We need depth. Exactly. That's the truth. But no, but the problem is that we have players right now, but they're not good enough. Yeah. We need players who are better than the players who... Are, for example, we, we need, need players that are better than our reserve players. Yeah, exactly. If, we have signed a temp, if we're signing a centre-back, he needs to be better than Tanganga. If we're, yeah. signing, if we're signing a centre-mid... He needs to be better than um, uh, Winks, or he has to be better than Dombele and Lacelso. If, if, if we're signing a right wing back, he needs to be better than Doherty. Yeah, that, that's the, yeah, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely no point, Brienne. So, oh, I mean, I'm lost. I'm just lost for words yet again with how we're conducting ourselves in the transfer window. Yet again, um, in in January or in every go through every transfer window, we'll. we'll Wait till the last bloody second, and um, and it will fall, will fall flat on our faces. And Conte must be so frustrated right now with how things are panning out, um, because time is ticking away, ticking very, very quickly. And look, I'm sure I'm 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 sure we're going to get in the next four days a bunch of rumours, a bunch of um, Tottenham scrambling around. I'm sure there will be offers made for players, but at the end of the day, when you leave this late, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. And we might get lucky. We might get one good quality player out, out of this. That would be lucky. But, Extremely lucky. But we're setting us up to but fail. We're, but we're setting ourselves up to fail. Year. Exactly. Year on year on year. It's the same bullshit every single time. It really is. And I'm just doesn't seem any planning really here. There have. doesn't seem any planning here. No planning at all. No planning at all. And, and the fans need to get their voices heard to the board. Yeah.